To this video it's a, a bit of a sort of a brief video um, probably not the best quality uh, um, as far as this is kind of new to me so um, what we've got is a swan um, dome camera and at the moment I've broken it apart into its individual parts the screws to here and basically holds this in place the camera in place and what i want to do is up on the roof there's a um there's a it's a cement board what they call a fiber board and so what i'm going to do here it is up on top of the ladder what i'm going to do is i'm going to soon i'm going to head up into the roof space to make sure that this block of wood that i've got here is going to fit in the um, Safit space, um, which is the, the section underneath the roof um, where the camera will be mounted. So what I want to do is, this will go up inside the roof, and then you've got your cement board on top, and then this will mount through and hold the camera sturdy. If you just mount that straight into the cement board, there's a possibility of the weight pulling this down and out and through. So by having a block, solid block behind it, you're adding a bit of strength and you can just screw straight through this uh, through through the cement board and then this will be at, at the back so what i want to do is make sure that it's going to fit up inside and then um we'll go from there right i'm just going to head up into the roof and check this um check this roof space All right All right okay i'm just going to head down and get some measurements Get, get a uh, visual on where it's gonna go. All right, back soon. Okay, so I've got a good idea where I want it. There's a bit of space up there, so that's the main thing is being able to actually, actually access the Safit because you've got the top of the wall and then the Safit is below that and you've got to reach over the top and the roof is like here. So you've got to sort of, I had to lie down in amongst all the pink bats and insulation and just physically see if there's anything that's going to stop this from sitting flat on the inside of the Safit so no I'm happy with that we'll um we'll now, get, we'll now go outside and we'll we'll draw the hole ready to accept this this little um what I call the pilot screw and that will that will enable me to locate this inside the roof okay here we are at the place we want to mount it and I've, 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 what I did is I used this block as a like a measuring device, and I could see where the where the wall was on the inside. So what I did was I measured two spaces that way, and then what I could do is just put it roughly on on a forty five degree angle from those two spaces. So one, two, and then just the forty five degree out from there is roughly about there. Right, and so what I'll do is I'll just mark that centre now. Right. Right. So now I've got that centre. Right. Now what I'll do is I'll go down in the inside of the roof again, and I can drop my screw through the hole. And that there is what I hold on to when I screw the mounting plate for the camera in. Here I'm in the roof, I'm feeling around for the hole and I'm trying to get the uh, screw located dropped in through the hole.
this one. It sort of holds that to start with. Now I can draw this up. Solid. Now I can just take this one out. Cool. Last step. Right now comes the time to install the camera cable and camera. So I've got the end that will um, go into the um, the hub basically. This is where it gets powered and all the signal is connected to. In order to get this up and into through into the roof, what we need to do is attach it to this bit of rod here, this bit of stiff rod that we've got. And we'll just attach it to that and all I'm going to use is just a bit of masking tape just, uh, just wind that around there like this it doesn't have to be anything flash it just has to be tight in order for it to remain attached and not slip on the on the uh, rod here so uh, I'll do that in a couple of places so it does get snagged it can continue on its way just in a couple of places here and then it, this just this stuff just makes it easier to remove you can rip the stuff rather than battling with insulation tape I'll keep these cables as straight as possible just checking their condition make sure they're all good these are brand new so they should be in pretty good condition just any kinks like this you might want to just straighten them out but that sort of length there that's um, about a meter about three foot just do that and once that's up in the roof I'll be able to grab it I can we can bend this in a direction we want it to head as well so Right, we'll head to the outside and start feeding this into the roof. Right, that's up in the roof, so I'll be able to grab that now. Okay, so what I'll get you to do assistant is just take all these coils out of the see this this is what you don't want we'll have to unravel all this right back soon okay so there it is all mounted side I just screwed the the um, threaded fitting on there to hold the dome in place obviously this is going to be different for the likes of the normal bullet type camera that will have different mountings um, pretty much the same except uh, you can mount those without having this external um, part that you need to of course fit the, the base first where the, the other cameras you just screw it straight in so 
intentionally you can't do it this way because you won't be able to hold it to start it so um, so here there, there's the it's the, the DIY on in, installing a, a dome camera into a Safit. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification button, as we all do. Cheers. Have a good one.